enjoying this declutter? Are you judging me? I think that's a yes. And now, foundations. Oh my god. I test out a lot of foundations for you guys. That is the truth, but this is this is just ridiculous. Let's tackle this like Jam Beauty does. Yeah. Let's let's pick out the ones if I had no foundations. Which ones would I immediately go out and be like, that, I need to have that in my life again. Which would I repurchase right away? Well, certainly my Revlon Colorstay, absolutely. Holy grail, yes, yes. Estee Lauder Double Wear, love, love. Would definitely purchase that again. I have been enjoying this BH Cosmetics liquid foundation a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. The Fenty Beauty Foundation, yeah, that one's a keeper. Maybe there's more that we'll unbury throughout time, but for now, these are the ones, I think. Oh, here. We'll throw in this Holica Holica Aqua Petite Jelly. Yeah, we'll say these are the ones for now. So those I'm keeping. Now. <laughs> now. Let's see, which ones are ones for testing? Let's try it that way. So Max Studio Face and Body Foundation. Unique BB Flawless Multitasking Hydrating Tinted BB Cream. Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. It Cosmetics CC Cream. I have light and fair. I doubt I'm gonna need the fair. Light looks like it'll be good, right? Ooh, maybe not. Let's see, let's see the fair. Yes, okay, fair is going to be much better for me. I do remember that about this stuff, that IT Cosmetics runs pretty dark, so I will keep the fair and I will give away the light. Great, good job, Cassie. <laughs> um, let's see. Ugh, you guys, this is so hard because so much of this, it's like I tried it once for the video, I felt meh about it, and now I don't remember because I test out so many freaking foundations throughout a year. Next up, oh, this one I should have out now that it's winter. I actually really like the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow for dry skin, uh, so I need to keep that. The Pure Bare It All Foundation, I don't remember really loving this, so I'll give that away. The Maybelline Superstay, I feel like aside from the shade match being wrong, I actually quite enjoyed this, but it was just really, really pale on me. And I know a lot of you said it looked good on me, but it was really, really pale on me. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this away and just remember that I can definitely, you know, buy a different shade. Oh yeah, I feel like I remember buying this for a review. <laughs> the Almay Smart shade, I just thought that sounded magical. You know, skin adjusting, blah, blah, blah. I feel like I remember liking the gel serum foundation from Bourjois. I'll keep it. Laura Mercier, I feel like I remember liking it, but wanting to like it more than I actually liked it, right? So I'm gonna put that in my giveaway. Oh, this is horrible, you guys. I don't remember things. Okay, I actually just consulted my video and apparently I did like this, except for around my nose and I thought I needed like some sort of a mattifying primer or something. So I will try it with a different primer. Um, let's see. I have these two spray foundations. I remember the Sephora one being okay, but not as good as the Dior, and I actually remember quite liking the Dior, so I'm gonna keep the Dior and give away the Sephora. This Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream is awesome. I'm gonna keep that. This Rimmel Stay Matte, I remember liking it and really liking it as like a mix-in foundation, but it is super old, so I need to throw that away. Same thing with this Lux Liquid Foundation from Glow Minerals. Really, really loved this foundation though. It's just, you can tell, it's, things have happened. Time, time has happened to this foundation. So these I both need to English Cassie. I need to throw both of these away. Smashbox Camera Ready BB, I really liked this as well, but especially as a mix-in for foundations, but this is old, I need to throw it away. Um, let's see. I feel bad, because I initially really liked this Tarte foundation when I first tried it out, but after further testing, it was it's just okay on me. It's not the greatest for me. So I am gonna give that 
away. I have plenty of other foundation, you know? My mind is telling me, Cassie, you purchased it, so you should use it up. You have ways, you can make it work, but I don't, I don't need to. Someone else can love that on their own. Let's see. Here's two that I wanted to continue trying because I remember liking them at the time, but I wanted to test them out in winter, so I need to do that. I've got the L'Oreal Total Cover Infallible Foundation and then also the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir, so I want to keep testing those. Um, let's see, this is my NYX White Foundation Mix-In Medium. I'm keeping that. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I haven't whipped this out in a hot minute, but I really liked this, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, let's see. This Rimmel one I remember liking. It's the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation, but it's like super heavily fragranced and I think it broke me out or I was scared it was going to break me out. So I'm going to go ahead and give that away since I don't reach for it because it scares me even though I did like it. The Photo Focus Foundation from Wet n Wild. I don't remember loving that. I think I wanted to like test it out maybe more. Uh, uh. I'm trying to think. Which ones did I feel that way with? I feel like the Beautifully Matte Foundation I felt that way with. Maybe the Sonia Kashuk. I don't feel like I remember liking this. Uh, so many foundations. I actually did like the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation, so I'll keep that. Like I said, Cassie, which ones do you remember liking? Maybe that's a better place to start. This coverall, I feel like I remember from Wet n Wild. I liked that, surprisingly. The Catrice Matte Foundation, I don't remember loving, so I will give that away. I do remember liking the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation, but I remember liking it. I do, I do so <laughs> I'll keep it. This It one in the serum or whatever thingy, I haven't used it since I tried it or, you know, had been trying it, so I will just give that away. Oh, so maybe I have tried this before. I'm so confused. I feel like maybe people had said that it, like, reformulated the CC Plus cream or something, and that's why I was holding onto this to test out when they sent it to me, but I had tested this in a video. I feel like I remember it just being okay. Uh, so, I mean, I'll give away this one in light because it's too dark. Um, but okay. The NYX Drop Foundation, I don't remember liking, so I'll give that away. This Model's Own Foundation was horrendous on me, so I'll give that away. Oh, the Blooming Fit BB, yeah, there's a goodie. Keeping that, I remember liking that. Oh yeah, yeah! Buried in the Pile, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. All right, that's a good one. The Glossy Skin Tint didn't do anything for me, so I'll give that away. I have two of these Tarte powder foundations in different colors. I've got Fair Light Neutral and Fair Honey. Let's see, I do really love this. Oh, this one, so this was the new one that I got, the Fair Light Neutral. So maybe keep that one and get rid of this one. This one is super old. So this one I'm just gonna throw away because like I said, it's quite old. Someone sent this and a couple other things from the balm to me, but it didn't have a note or a name any or anything on it. So I'm gonna try this, the balm foundation out eventually. Um, Let's see, the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I'm pretty sure I wanted to test that out in winter still. I still have these, I think that I bought in Europe that I still haven't tried out yet. So I've had these sitting around for what, like a year? I mean, this Max Factor one, doesn't look like it's good anymore. Good job, Cassie. You wasted your money. Throw that away. These ones in a bottle give me more hope. We've got a bourgeois, just healthy mix, the non-serum. We've got Makeup Academy, Skin Define, Matte Perfect Foundation, and a Max Factor. Do we still want me to test these out? They're in a bottle, so... Theoretically, they're probably still okay, but uh, I need to do that. Let's see, these ones that I'm kind of starting to stack up here are all ones where I'm like, yes, but no. Um, let's see. Someone had sent me a Givenchy foundation. What? What? I still need to test that. These from Dr. Jart little samples are just straight up old. I need to throw those away. Do y'all remember when the Laura Mercier foundation was getting pimped out? Lots of PR. The smooth finish, flawless, fluid foundation. I got a sample of that. Never ended up testing it. And then the Makeup Forever HD. So I'll throw those in my testy pile. CoverGirl Clean Matte. Are you still good? I've had you for forever. Yeah, that's that's smelling a little off. So I'm gonna throw that away, but this is a fantastic BB cream. I feel like it was more like a foundation, but I really did like that. Naked skin, y'all still wanna see me test that out. Um, here's another one. Poopa? 
pupa, like a doll. Someone had sent this stuff to me to test out. I've got the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light that used to be my favorite foundation ever, and then a lot of you still wanted to see me do how I did my makeup in high school video, so I figured I would repurchase this again and do that, because that's all I used for years and years and years. Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation is awesome, but again, it's quite old, so I'm gonna toss it. The Lola Matte Long Lasting Liquid Foundation, I can test that out, I guess. I actually did quite like this Tarte BB powder stuff, like as a powder foundation type thing. I just feel like I never reach for these type of things. Ugh. So, okay, there's my answer. I'm gonna give that away. I actually feel like I do remember really liking this e.l.f. stick foundation. Oh my god, that is dark on me. Have I really become so pasty in this winter non-light? Okay, well, that's just not gonna work, so give that away. Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. It's expired, so I'll throw it away. Clinique Even Better Makeup. I don't know, do you guys want to see me test that? Oh, and is this the same? No. Ooh, I can't imagine that's gonna work for me though. No. Okay, I'm gonna have to give that away. This is in medium light, so that'll be way too dark for me. Okay, so I just consulted myself on YouTube to see how I felt about some of these, uh, these last ones. How did this, okay. Smooth liquid camo foundation. This looks like it's gonna be too dark on me. Yeah, I'm gonna give that away. But okay, so. These e.l.f. ones, I consulted, they weren't the greatest on me, so give those away. Same with the Garnier BB, the Sonia Kashuk, the Wet n Wild, and the Becca was good on me, but I was saying in the video this is one of those ones that's seasonal for me, like it would only look good in some months, and I already have quite a few of those in my keep pile, so I'm just gonna give that away. I do remember liking this Dr. Jart BB Balm, and the number seven, Beautifully Matte, was one that I wanted to keep on testing. It seemed like I quite liked that one. And the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Makeup, as, like, it was okay. Like, I remember liking it, but not loving it, so I'm just gonna pass that one on as well. So I feel like this might not seem great. Here is my keep stuff, and here is my giveaway stuff, slash throwaway stuff, stuff. <laughs> but this pile right here is all stuff to test. These are the ones that I have tested that I am keeping, and there's the stuff that I'm giving away slash throwing away. So I think comparing that, you know, it looks like about half. So I think in that sense, that's good! That's good! I did good, right? All right, and this makes me feel better seeing it spread out like this too. Here we have little giveaway pile. Here we have garbage. Here we have giving to friends and family, and then this is technically all keeping, but this stuff over here is all stuff to test, and this is all stuff that I have tested and am keeping. So, in that, in those terms, obviously I'm keeping a lot more than I'm getting rid of, right? But if we take out the stuff here that is for me to test, again, you know, screenshot it, do whatever you need, Please tell me what of this you want to see first and foremost. But then when you see it like this, like doesn't this make you feel like I did a good job, you know? This is all stuff that I'm getting rid of. And this is the stuff that I'm keeping. Like that makes me feel good. I feel like this is a really good job well done, right? That looks great. And it makes me feel so happy. You know, I can give away that stuff to you guys at some point. I can give this stuff to friends and family. Hopefully they will find a love for it that I did not. This stuff can go in the garbage. You know, it was good while it lasted slash some of it. I just straight up wasted, <laughs> you know? Dumb, Cassie. Dumb, dumb, but like really old. <laughs> and then the stuff that I'm keeping, I can look at this and be like, oh, I love this stuff. Like, this is good stuff. Or like, oh, I remember really liking this. Like, I want to try it again. So that makes me feel really, really good. Yay. So that is that. I hope you all can be proud of me. I feel like I did a really good job. So I'm going to leave it at that. I know this was a very long video, but I had a lot to go through. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will do more declutters here in the future, but that is all for today. Daylight is waning. I hope you enjoyed this declutter. If you are excited about this New Year's declutter for me, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, 
Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me like these declutters in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! Are you still judging me? Yes. Yes. That was a long hour and a half or two hours of judgment. It's okay. Some of it is well deserved. Bye, Bye, Bye. Bye, guys. Baggy pants and no sneakers. That was wild. I, could, I didn't know what to think about that. Didn't know what to think about that.